Welcome to the Out Loud Podcast. My name is John. And I'm Brian. This is the podcast where we believe that laughter is the best medicine. Well, unless you're diabetic, then insulin is pretty darn important. What do you think? Oh, geez. <laughs> I think you should stick to your day job. That's what I think. <laughs> Dad jokes all day, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those, those are supposed to come from me. All right. Let's roll the intro music. Open up. Open up your mind. Tell me where you want to be. Tell me what you need from me. So you guys, we are filming and recording this from 300 miles away. For the YouTube cast, you can see I have Brian on my screen here. I have my notes pulled up. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge doing this from so distant but that's our relationship is we're doing a distance thing and uh, you got to make the most right. of it yeah so we're, we're we'll we'll see how technologically challenged well i know i am but john can probably figure this out <laughs> i don't know i'm kind of pushing <laughs> pushing my uh, limits here uh but today's topic is going to be about age gap relationships which surprise surprise we know a little bit of, uh, about <laughs> We do. We do know a little about it. And we've gotten like, and it's funny because I was really surprised like at one of our first like YouTube videos that we did. And if you guys see my eyes go, it's just because I want to look at John on screen. Yeah. So I don't same, feel like same I'm for me. Kinda, so it, it might seem weird for you guys, but it, it's not for me. Um, just like the kind of the support we've been getting and people are like, yeah, me and my partner, you know, 20 years apart, we're, you know, 30 years apart, we're eight years apart. And I just, I really didn't, you know, think that there'd be this much kind of support. There's, of course, there's some people that aren't as supportive, but, you know, to each his own. That's, that's what the world's all about. Exactly. Yeah. But we're going to talk about some unique challenges in the age gap relationship. Um, we're going to talk about how our families feel and kind of review some of our favorite age gap relationships because as you probably know, we're not the only ones. There's so many out there. Um, right. So there is, if we look at the United States, uh, that the average age gap among married couples in the US is about two to three years. And Bri, who do you think yeah. is usually the elder of those two? I'd say the guy. Yeah, of course. It's always the guy. Yeah. It's always the guy. Like, and yeah. there's like this- Like in, like in our relationship. Yeah. The guy's older. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. It, it is because you didn't know what I was saying because kind of threw you. It did. So. It actually did. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's kind of a cringeworthy moment whenever you talk to someone who isn't comfortable talking to gay people or, or they don't know that it's inappropriate to ask, okay, so who's the male in the relationship? Who's the female? Oh, my God. That question. <laughs> <laughs> it never surprises me, though. So I pulled up some research on age gap relationships and sort of anxiety around the gap. There's some researchers, Conway, Beam, and Bus, which, my goodness, they sound like football players or, or something. Yeah, it's a law firm, <laughs> I think. It is a law firm. <laughs> uh, they say that perceived age is what matters in the relationship, that it's not what you see chronologically it's sort of what you see qualitatively so like when i look at brian i don't see his the number of your age right i, I don't oh well that's that's nice of you <laughs> well, well and it, well it's because i take all these qualities into account where it's like your interests your ability to do active things and you know it, it's no oh, and i i i agree like i i feel that kind of same way because i i because we do have kind of so much in common that way of like the stuff that we like to do together and the stuff that, you know, we're passionate about. And then I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm, you know, so much older than him, but I'm still relating to him. So, so like even on that granular level, you know, there's times where I completely am out in left field on something that he mentions, like an actor or a song or something that you reminisce about and you're like oh you know this 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 i'm like no i have no yeah, idea <laughs> yeah. yeah no idea whatsoever but i have to say sometimes he says things that i don't get <laughs> no i'm just kidding that never <laughs> happens because you get it all you got it all because i get it well all. i don't yes. think that we shared our age until a month 
two months into the relationship? I don't know. I mean, it, it took... I don't, I don't remember. I mean, obviously, I kind of knew your age range, but I don't know if you knew my age range. Well, when, I, when you told me, I was surprised. Right. And he kind of headed for the door, but I he gra- grabbed him he, and he pulled him me. back. <laughs> so, um, I'm not leaving. I'm not. And you, can't, you can't get me out that easily. I say men are like wine. They're better with age. So you are a oh. fine Merlot, oh, God. honey. Whoa. <laughs> Just say I'm like maybe a, what is it? A Beaujolais, Nouveau Beaujolais. The one that's like comes out every year and oh, see, just good for that. So this year. is a perfect example of something that's going right over my head. So no, it that's not, has nothing to do with age, <laughs> nothing to do with age. So, do you think heterosexual age gaps are more acceptable? No, no. I actually think they're less acceptable. I have to disagree. I mean, I think if oh, the see. if the woman is the elder of the two, I think it's looked down upon more. But I think that heterosexual. So I'm watching uh, a show called The Nick. I actually just finished it, and uh, it's about like early 1900 medicine, and it seems like all of the physicians are married to women who are younger, and it's it's acceptable. And well, and even if you right, translate but, but, it into today's times, I still think it's more acceptable for an older man to date a younger woman. Like right, but we're 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 not saying. You know, twenty or thirty years younger, because then all of a sudden, I feel like they'll get that bad cliche stereotype that going they just go for the younger model and okay. whatever, and then and then women get the bad rap of being a cougar. Like I, I, I oh, I, if they're the I older, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't feel that in the gay relationship. Maybe they are. Maybe there's tons of people just like talking behind our back. Like my friends will say, "How's the kid?" You know. And it's like, yeah, but it, it, so I don't know. Maybe it is just maybe it is equal. Maybe there's prejudice on both sides of, you know, with the age gap relationship, straight or LGBT. So, OK, what about. Yeah. All right. So favorite age gap relationships, like famous ones. All right. You can you can do your like top four or whatever if you want. All right. right I'll, I'll do these three I have here written, Bri. So first one, I want to shout out my uh, YouTube here, uh, friends here, Wyo Russ and Chris. They have a 28-year age gap. They have a YouTube channel. Um, they go on adventures. I think they live in Montana. Um, they seem like super oh, down, gosh. super super down to earth. And uh, it's just I, I have followed them for a while and just kind of seeing them share their lives online and with friends and they – it's just awesome, it, and it's kind of one of the uh, motivating factors of starting this channel too. Was seeing this age gap relationship. So if you haven't seen them, go check them out. Um, next, yeah, one. and it and it's funny. Like when you say like when, like starting this podcast, like I didn't like I I'm doing this because I just really want to have some fun, and I think it's really cool. And you know, of course, putting ourselves out there basically opens us up to any anything yeah praise as well as ridicule so but like i i don't like that's just part of who we are but it's not who we are so like i it is like we and it's not like every single uh podcast we're going to do we're going to talk about age gap relation you know it because that'll get well that's tired a, that's a but, huge thing it's just a component about us it's just like being gay it's just a component of of who you are it's just one characteristic yeah which i think is kind of a unique and we're 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 making it work so speaking of love and hate online bride did you see that we have our very first troll <laughs> on on some of our comments on some of our videos was that the one yeah the, yeah the, you probably the gentleman know. that said it was yeah i know so <laughs> But in, uh, what are you gonna do? Like every everyone has their opinion, but I I don't. If if you don't enjoy us that much, I don't know why you'd keep watching then. And he's like I I I don't get being negative. Yeah. I, I I don't like. And uh, trust me, I could be the first one to say yes. I'm judgmental, but I'm not. <laughs> this sounds weird. Out, don't not out, judgmental publicly. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not out to ruin someone's you know, day. I, 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 don't, yeah, I don't have I don't it in my heart. Make, yeah. I'm like the total opposite. It's just like if they're having a bad, if someone's having a bad day, like I reach out or, you know, if there's, if they've done something, 
you know, I, I always try to be supportive, I guess. I don't know. But there, that's fine. You know, I'm not going to harp on that because we got a ton of people that I think really enjoy us and like what we're doing. So, you know, we're, we're there for those people. Yeah, definitely. And there's other so. examples of us uh, in popular media like Matt Bomber and Simon Halls. They have a 14 year wow. age gap. I love Matt Bomber. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bomber. 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 Yeah. Yeah. What did I say? Bomber. Bomber. My, my, who knows if it's both. He was really good in Sinner. Oh, my gosh. He, he, he played good crazy. <laughs> what do you think about a gay man playing a straight role? Oh, yeah, I had kind of written that down in my notes. Well, <laughs> I hate to say it, that's all I've ever seen kind of growing up. Well, yeah, I like, mean, you, actors are actors, right? But you mean a, an out actor playing a straight role, you know? So, yeah. It's, it's, acting, it's acting the part, but like when people say, oh, well, you know, I, I couldn't believe him when he was kissing the woman. But that's just like whatever you know. Jar Jared Leto playing a gay man and kissing another guy, but you can believe that, you know. It it's you gotta you can't have it both ways. Yeah, it's like you, you know. I and I guess because then they'll be like, oh my gosh, did you see like how well he had to act when he kissed that man? Well, that would be like the same for me if I was, you know, with. Uh, who do I want to be with? Like with, you know, uh, Any... Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> okay. No, if like Jennifer and Aniston and I had a, you know, a, a love scene. It's like, oh my gosh. Like, but, Whoa. you know, so it, it's, it's kind of the it, same. She, she's going to revoke your platinum status? That's the one? <laughs> that would, yeah. No, that's yours. You love her. I do love her. You love her. But I do oh, love, I love great. Matt she's Bomber great. even more. And I love him even more and more now that I know that he's in an age gap too. So that's, that's age gap relationship. Yeah. That's pretty and that's cool. what I mean. He's done, I, I've, I've seen him in so many different things, straight, gay. And like, if, if it's a movie for me, which is total escapism, I just escape in the movie. I escape in the character. I don't think about who their boyfriend, girlfriend, right. husband, or wife are. I just try to like enjoy and like yeah. and do it, you know. One hundred percent. So, so yeah. uh, next one on my list here is Tom Daly and Dustin Lance Black. They have a twenty-year age gap. Tom Daly is the Olympic diver um, from the UK. From the UK, yeah. And his older. He was just Dustin on. Um, oh, what's the Graham Norton? The uh, Graham Norton show, yeah. and he was on, and he was just—he was on with uh, handsome guy, oh, Ryan, blonde, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, no, Ryan, no, no, Ryan Murphy, Gosling, it? Gosling, <laughs> Gosling, <okay>. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> yeah, so he was on the show. Like that's the thing I love about Graham Norton. I know we're like sidetracked. He like has everyone come out in the panel at once. So it was Tom Daly. It was Ryan. Gosling, it was Jodie Foster. Oh my gosh, love. what a cast! And I'm trying, to, and then another British actor who I recognized, but I didn't know his name. So he was just like talking about, you know, getting out of the pool and in the speedo, and Graham Norton had his speedo, and oh my gosh, it was just a funny thing. But yeah, no, so I, I like Tom. I like Tom and Dustin too, and they have a little boy. Oh yay, so. little boy. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, next one on my list is Gerald McCullough and his boyfriend Derek Gordon. Who I don't so know. I, I, well, I wrote this down. I know Gerald McCullough. You would know him if you saw him. His fa he's famous for like CSI, but I've seen him in in, in movies and things. But Derek okay. Gordon, his his partner, is the first NCAA basketball player to be out. That's all, and they have a twenty four year age gap. Come wow. on, man, that's, that's awesome. 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 That's so cool. So, all right, what are your favorites? All right, I, 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 my, I have like three that I listen. I mean, I, I love them all. I'm so glad. Uh, first one is RuPaul and his husband, Labar, uh, George Labar. They have a 13 year gap, and there's a little story that RuPaul met him at the Limelight in New York. Again, a place that John will not know of. <laughs> Uh, it was a nightclub in New York, but like, I think it, I don't know if it switched 
It was at one place and then it went to the church. There was a church that they converted into this club and it was kind of amazing and that was the limelight. So there's that one. Then there's Elton John and uh, David Furnish. Yep. They have a 15 year gap. That's awesome. And they have two they have two kids as well, which I think is awesome. But I think my favorite is Sarah Paulson and Holland Taylor. Uh, they have a 32 year age gap. They're both and awesome. I I love Holland Taylor. I mean, I love them both. But uh, there was a New York Times interview with Sarah Paulson a few years back, and she said, I'll, I'll just read the quote, there's a poignancy to being with someone older. I think there's a greater appreciation of time and what you have together and what's important, and it can make the little things seem very small. Yeah. So it's, you know, it is that. It's like very, you know, just be in the moment with each other, you know, Whatever's going to come is going to come. Can't change that. But like, oh, my gosh, this I, 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 I didn't even know they were together. Well, I don't know when I found that out, you know, maybe seven or eight years ago. I don't know how long they've been together, though. They've been they have. To I mean, been they've together been together a while, for a while, because I remember when I was in my previous relationship, I I wondered, OK, am I the only one that's in an age gap? And they were the first ones that I found. And I just fell in love with Sarah Paulson and Holland Taylor. Yeah. And I am a huge yeah. American Horror Story fan. So Sarah Paul, anyone else out there American yeah. Horror Story fans, let's go. My god, comment, please. <laughs> I love that. And Sarah Paulson is just brilliant in anything she's in including American Horror Story. Okay. Why don't we move keep this conversation going and you know, and it, it's not just about John and I, it's kind of about our family as well who we love very dearly and you know, how our families kind of feel about this. You know, um, I'm the youngest, so that means my family is really old. Whoa. So, of course, my sisters, my sisters and brother would uh, kill me for saying that. But, you know, my family is very supportive, but I also just kind of, uh, I was in a 20 plus year relationship. So, you know, I'm not going to say it didn't take some getting used to, you know, uh, for them to kind of warm up to John, but they are because, I mean, he's awesome. My family's awesome. And it's like, you know, so it's uh, fortunately I do have the, the love and support of all my family. So it's been pretty it's been pretty good for me. Yeah, mine. Mine took time, a lot of time. So when I was before I met Brian, I was in a another age gap relationship for about five years. And my family didn't disapprove of being gay because that was my first gay relationship. They disapproved of the age gap. That was a huge deal. It took time for them to come around and that, and now they are totally, totally supportive. Um, my dad's, my biological dad's side of the family is there's still some people that disapprove. They don't, they don't want to talk to me or have anything to, you know, well, there's always going to be people that disapprove, unfortunately. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I'm just curious. I mean, uh, do they disapprove of you being gay or in a age gap relationship? Gay. But then I think the magnitude of adding in the age gap is, is yet another oddity for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I, yeah, that would be so interesting it. to see an introduction between you and, and that part of the family. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll avoid that. I'll avoid that for right now. Thanks. Honestly, my family couldn't love Brian more. I mean, you're so supportive. My nephew, I like Jordan, he was just, he's here. He slept <laughs> over last night and he's asking for you. Where's, when's Brian coming back? When's Brian? He loves you. Yeah, well, he's a cool little dude. So Yeah, but there are, there like are him. like, it's not all peaches and cream because I think there are unique challenges for us. Yep. Um, yep. My lot, like I said, I was in an age gap relationship before Brian. And the reason that didn't work is because I think it's that thing about chronological age versus like perceived age that like that we talked about in the beginning where I'm super active. I want to go on adventures and do things and sports and gym and all these things. And uh, my last relationship wasn't the most simpatico with with me wanting to do those things and him, you know, getting the most out of life with me. And Brian can share all of those things in that. So 
Yeah, no, I, I trust me, I love all that stuff. And like, yeah, and that's why I, I kind of agree with it's, it's, it's not like, yes, there's a chronological age difference, but if the interest and the love and like the passion for all things that we like to do together is there, I, again, I don't, I, I sometimes I don't see it. No, I'd be lying to say that I don't think about it, you know, and just to reaffirm, I'm the older one in the relationship, just in case there was any confusion on Shocker. that. Shocker. But, yeah. But like John said, you know, we, we got we to gotta live for the present, you know. Sure. Like, I, I, trust me, I get it. In 20 years, I won't be able to do the same things John's doing. But, you know, we cross that bridge when we come to it, you know, where, you know, it's we got to we'll figure it out then. So. And believe me, like the things that Brian and I do together, like gym or, you know, workouts or adventure, like Even he, cooking, he is, everything. Listen, 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 you are. And I hate to admit this, but you are you might be a step ahead of me in in some of those things, you know, like the. <laughs> yeah, I wish he's just being nice. See, he's a nice guy. too. He's got good so. genes, ladies and gentlemen. Good genes. Yes, I do. Oh, and then I did I there was a comment from someone, I know we keep going, and they were saying something about, like, it's only temporary, you know, you, you gotta, you, you just have to, you know, admit to yourselves that you're just having fun, and I'm like, and, because it's not going to last, and I was like, but, like, you could, there's so many different ways to approach that, it's like, but isn't that what every relationship should be, exactly. shouldn't it be fun, yeah. should it be fun, and to only say it's temporary, I mean, you could say that about everything in the world. Everything's only temporary. But, you know, but that's for us to say. That's not for somebody else to say. If that's how they would view it, that's fine. But, you know, I'm going to spend as much time as I can with this amazing man. So that's that's my say on it. I, so. I couldn't agree more. But I do say, I will say, like, I used to be super self-conscious of it, of of being interested in the men that I'm, I'm almost exclusively interested in older men. I mean, I find certain men my age are attractive, but really it's, it's the maturity level. It's just more than, yeah, it, you know what I mean? And, and, but I used to be super self-conscious about that. Um, yeah. And there's still times, I don't know about you, Brian, but there's still times where I still feel awkward or, or anxious introducing you as my partner, just, just for that. You know, what, oh, yeah. how are they going to take oh, trust this? me. Right. I, and I, I feel the same way. It's just like, you know, oh, this is my boyfriend. Really? <laughs> the wheels start like, turning that's... at that point. for it. Right. Yeah. And it's like, but like, like going back to almost how we opened this about being chronological, like I don't think of it when we're kind of together and we're doing this stuff. And um, yesterday I had softball practice, so we started the softball season. And everyone was asking for you. They're like, tell John we said hi. Yay. And it's almost funny because within that little microcosm of my gay friends, they're, and they're all like, we just realized like at our team, there's only two people. Brandon's your age, like 26 or 27. And then uh, I think it's Carly. It's yeah. someone I haven't met yet. But she's like in her mid thirties. So our coach John, another John, was like, "Everyone's forty and older on our team." Yes. Oh my God! Queen. They, it was so yeah. So it's it's awesome, and you know. But I felt like I always feel really supported. Like Patrick, tell John we said tell John I said hello. Give him a big kiss for me. Like very <laughs> supportive of me, you know. So you know they they don't care. That's the thing. Again, because they just with they good people. They see us as. I'll put air quotes for me, athletes. You know, they don't see us as, oh, age gap people. No, they don't. They just see us as athletes. So it's kind of fun. He's not an athlete. He's an athletic supporter. <laughs> Tell me what movie that's from. <laughs> see, this, this is something he would never get, and it's like one of my favorite movies of all time. And that's all we have time for today. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I figured as much. So... Oh my so. goodness! Honestly, Father Time is cruel, but let's just live for the present. That—that's all that I can give to anyone who's considering getting in an age gap relationship. Is 
What do you have to lose? Yeah. Oh, that that's what I was going to say. It's like I I didn't I didn't look for John. Like I didn't look for someone younger than me. I looked for someone that had like interests as me, the same, you know, values, the same morals, the you know, stuff like that is what I look for because, you know, someone would say, "Oh, you, you know, you just, you know, you're a cradle robber looking for" but I didn't like if if someone was 70 and you know shared the same values that I did like to do the same thing you know so it for me it is just about the person not the age so so I have a good personality is what he's saying good yeah awesome oh oh no I didn't say that what I was no come on yeah just yeah okay I'll give you a little I'll give it to you a little uh, all right Bri I think we should wrap yep. things up it's getting a little bit yep, long. wrap it three 300 miles away, yep. Yeah. Sorry if this was a little bit uh, out of sorts this this week. Um, we would love to be in person, but it is yeah. the times. It's just the times, it you know. It is the times. But we are going to be in Florida for oh a week, so God. we're hoping to, hoping to crank out a couple uh, podcasts by then. We'll be together, poolside, you know. Goodness so. gracious, I'm so excited for that. Yeah, so no, so I'm excited. Very excited! All right, three weeks. Three weeks from today. Oh, the countdown so begins. Is on. All so. right, I want to thank you to Nearly York for letting us use their song "Take You There" as the intro and outro of the podcast. Go check out their music on Spotify. Um, and also, something that would really really help us if you're listening to this on a podcast, go over to Apple Podcasts and leave us a review. Give us uh, you know five stars. You know, that'd be pretty great. Five stars. It helps us grow. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Helps us grow and reach, yes. and reach more people. But also, what we would love is any comments that you have for us, any suggestions. Oh, try to be positive, you know, constructive, positive. Not saying that you can't criticize, but, you know, let's be positive. So you, we have an email. So it's outloudjb at gmail. So John and Brian. So it's outloud, the initial J and B at gmail.com and we actually got our first email from Elvis in all France. France. I love France? it. France. 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 Do you do you do the CE? Do you do I thought it was like France. No, you don't France. I thought you like no, France. <laughs> no, if there's an E you pronounce the C. If there's but an E, a, okay. A, so Brian took some like, some French. I'm more Spanish. So Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Both romance languages. Okay. Okay. Muchas gracias so that, para todo. Okay. Au revoir, <laughs> mon ami. Thanks, guys. From 300 miles away, I'll see you next time, Brian. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>